So this morning I received a call from one of the teachers that taught me in high school and they told me they witnessed this giant bird crash into the power lines. It made a big boom and now this bird is unconscious. So we got the bird in the car and he's freaking out. We're gonna reveal this bird in three, two, What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a great day so far. So this morning I received a call from one of the teachers that taught me in high school and they told me they witnessed this giant bird crash into the power lines, it made a big boom, and now this bird is unconscious. They said I need to rush over there as fast as I can. But before we hop into today's video, I need to do a couple things around my brother's house and around my house. So I'm just gonna bring you all in for the action. So guys, about a couple weeks back, you met the little baby emus at my brother's house. Now guys, you are not going to believe how big they are. Their enclosure is almost ready, and I'm just, I'm just going to show you guys. Let's, let's open this on up. You guys stay right here, and let's see if they're going to come on out. Oh, guys! Look how big they are! Guys, look at them. They are running around. They are having a blast. I'm going to let them do their thing, get all the exercise they need for the day. Hi! Come here! Yo, how are you doing, buddy? How are you doing? You're so big. What's up, man? You want some? You want some grass? You want some grass to eat? Hey, oh, that's so yummy. That oh, that tastes so good. Here you go, little buddy. No, you done? All right. So guys, what we have to do is since the little emus are playing around, they're having a blast. It is really, really hot here in South Florida. So whether they cool themselves down with a nice bath or even drink the water to hydrate themselves, they need some source of water. So we're just gonna go on ahead and fill this kitty pool up and you can see they're interested. I think they already see the pool. Come on, guys. Come on. You remember this? Let's see if they come over here. Come here. <laughs> guys, you can see this guy right here is interested. He wants to get in here. He wants some water. Here you go, buddy. Look. It's so nice. Come on, come for a swim. Guys, they're gonna do it. Look at them go. Oh my goodness, they almost went in, guys. Come on, it's so tempting. Guys, Ghost finally got in the water. He is loving it. He is completely soaking wet. And Shadow right here is not sure. Ow! Shadow right here is not sure. He wants to get in, but he doesn't seem to really know how to step in this this little kitty pool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave these guys soaking in their bath and having a good time and just enjoying the day. Guys, we're here with little baby Angel. And if you take a closer look right here at her left paw, you can see that there is almost a well. It is kind of raised a little bit, but it's looking better right now. But between every feeding, this little girl actually starts sucking on her skin right there, creating almost like a blister that is really, really raised. So what we're gonna do to prevent that is we're gonna take this band-aid right here. We're gonna open it on up, just like this. And so her welt can go down. We are literally just gonna hold her just like this, which doesn't hurt her at all. This actually is how the mom runs with them. We're just gonna put it like this if she allows me and stops kicking me. We're gonna wrap it around. Come on, come on, what are you doing? So we tried putting the band-aid on, but the sides right here are a little too big for her little arm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take scissors, I'm gonna cut each side a little bit, and then I'll be back with you once that's done. So I cut one side like this, and I'm gonna leave one side long because I'm just gonna take her like this. I'm gonna put it just like this, wrap it around. Okay, we're getting somewhere. I'm gonna do it very, very loosely because I don't wanna cut her circulation off. And there we have it. Her paw is nice and bandaged, you can see that this band-aid is pretty loose. It has a lot of space and it is perfect. Now she's gonna no longer be able to create that well on her arm. Guys, we got the cage in the car. We are ready to go. We got the blanket to cover the cage in case this bird freaks out. So guys, without further ado, let's go rescue this bird. A little later. So we got the bird in the car and he's freaking out. He is not happy that we're trying to help him. So I have him covered right now so we don't stress him out too much. But guys, if you want to see what bird this is, well stay tuned and I'll catch you all once I get home. So guys, we're going to reveal this bird in three, two, one. Hello. So guys, 
don't mind the poop right now. He was a little freaked out in the car ride, so he was pooping and stepping in it and getting it all over the place. But if you look at him, he is a double-crested cormorant. They're actually native here in Florida. They are actually water birds. If you look at his feet, it looks exactly like a duck's feet. It is webbed. It is perfect for swimming. But this guy is freaking out. He's still a little shocked. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover him up. We're going to take this out of my car and we're going to put it in my garage. So guys, I wanted to show you real quick. If you take a closer look, if you look at his feet, his legs, his wings, his back, his beak, his everything, you don't see any visual injuries. Now that is because since he ran into the power lines, I'm guessing that he only got a concussion. So hopefully his recovery time won't be that long. And then he soon will be re-released into the wild. But that is a great sign that he has no injuries that are going to take a long time to heal. And he's going to have to stay in captivity longer. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cover him up just like this. Because we grabbed an extra blanket. I don't want this guy to freak out. We're going to give him obviously a little, you know, room to breathe right there so guys if you did not know this since these guys are part of south florida's wildlife they are actually illegal to keep in captivity you can't even feed them you can't do anything without a special permit a special license to rehab them and get them back to health so what we are going to do now is we're going to leave this guy here we're going to call our local wildlife rehabber who is licensed to rehab these types of animals and we're going to see if he's able to rehab and take care of this baby a few minutes later so guys, unfortunately, since the wildlife rehabber did not answer, we're going to have to wait for a call back. But what I'm going to do now, since this guy was sitting in the sun for quite some time, he's been outside, he is definitely dehydrated. I'm just going to fill this little bowl up with water. We're going to slide it in, and we're going to leave him alone. So we have a shallow bowl of water. Now, guys, I'm just going to open this cage up on slowly, and we are just going to put this in. Hopefully he doesn't lunge at me, guys. Ugh guys he was trying to go after me so we kind of shoot him to the back a little bit so i'm able to put this water bowl in here literally all i'm gonna do is i'm barely gonna open it i'm gonna do it really fast three two one okay guys we got it so what i'm gonna do now is we're gonna wait for the call we're gonna cover this guy on up so he doesn't get stressed out anymore but guys that is gonna end today's video if you all enjoyed today's video give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below a prayer that the rehabber answers and when he does answer that this guy is able to recover fastly and quickly now guys if you aren't subscribed already and you want to see more content like this well what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel in the link down below